barbershop conversation, guys. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget, September 28th, the granddaddy of them all. Looking forward to seeing y'all there. You guys saw it before the video. Now, let's tap into it. Earl Spence, I guess one of Earl Spence's sparring partners is revealed. Now, keep in mind, guys, I, I, I'm just going to be as upfront as possible. I'm trying to find Sean Porter stuff. I don't see nothing on Sean Porter on his page. Like, I don't, I'm looking, I don't see anything. So I don't know, what, I'm being honest. Like, I've tried to find stuff to report on Sean Porter, and it's looking like I'm overwhelmingly slanted towards Earl Spence. I don't mind reporting on Sean Porter and what he's doing in camp. I just have no idea what he's doing. All right, I just want to make that very, very clear, very, very apparent. You understand what I'm saying? So um, if you guys got some Sean Porter content, Feel free to DM me, you know what I mean? And um, moving forward, Earl Spence, Sean sparring partner, was revealed. Jose Borrego, you know, I remember him when he beat Kevin Watts uh, a couple fights ago. I'm not sure when it was. And that was, for me, that was kind of like his, uh, his uh, you know, the uh, fighters going different directions. You don't understand what I'm saying? And, uh, uh, I haven't really followed him since. I know he lost the fight, but I, I just checked his box rec. I haven't looked at his opponents, but he said he's 15-2. And, two. and uh, definitely good work for, for Earl Spence as it relates to uh, uh, Sean Porter. Young kid, give him rounds. You understand what I'm saying? Taller than... I, I, he looked, I, I never seen him in really, really person. I just saw him on TV. He may be a little bit taller than Sean. You know what I mean? Good fighter. A uh, durable guy um, and uh, a good fighter, and he's young, so maybe he'll he'll rebound. It says he's fifteen and two on box rec, but I'm not gonna sit here and say I saw his all of his last fights. I haven't. I saw him fight against Kevin Watts a while ago, and that's the last time I uh, have been following him. You know, I saw him on the undercard one time uh, at Barclays Center. I forget when that was, but I, I saw him on undercard there, and I saw him against Kevin Watts. So moving forward, good sparring partner. One of his sparring, I don't know if this is the only person. I'm not, I have no info on Earl Spence sparring partners or anything like that. As I see it on the internet, I'll report it to y'all, and shout out the famous a a a a a a a a a a a Go check out his uh, uh, YouTube channel. Uh, that's F-A-M-O-U-S famous. Is it F O F A M U S A A A? I got that off his channel, so feel free to go subscribe to his channel. And uh, that's it. I don't know what happened this far. Obviously, it looked like based off this picture, they just worked. You know, what I mean, Earl is not cut nor bruised. Jose is not cut nor bruised. Jose looks bigger than Earl Spence in this picture. Uh, he looks like he has more weight on him. So, anyways, man, it is what it is. Um, Sparring definitely made Jose better for sure. Hopefully, this made Earl Spence better, and um, I'm interested to see. Uh, maybe I should should reach out to Jose Borrego and, and see how sparring went with Earl Spence, and give him some more shine as it relates to his career, because um, he's lost two fights since the Kevin Watts fight, so he's trying to rebound and come back up. And I wish all these fighters well, man. And uh, uh, that's it. So, anyways, man, barbershop conversations, man. Feel free hit the subscribe button. And uh, if anybody got any information on Sean Porter's camp, feel free to give it to me. I'm being honest. I would love to, to report stuff on Sean Porter, because, but I just don't know. So barbershop conversations, feel free to hit the subscribe button. And I'll talk to you guys real soon. Peace.